So what is special about the theological education that students receive at Phillips? It comes to multiple things, but one is uh, the formation uh, that students are able to encounter here at Phillips with the faculty, with the staff, and with just the outside uh, community who are very uh, supportive of what we do here at Phillips. Well, Phillips has really nurtured my call to ministry by all the professors being so kind and compassionate as they help guide us in our path to becoming ministers. Being here at Phillips has opened my mind, has opened my heart to many different things. Um, from the faculty, from my fellow colleagues, um, taking classes with them, being able to hear from different people from different perspectives, being able to hear and speak and talk to and discuss. And so Phillips really helped me to redefine my call of how to live at both uh, the intersections of Jesus and justice is what I always say now. Uh, how to live in both sacred and secular spaces and how do you carry out that call every day. And I think I attribute my time at Phillips to really helping me to redefine that. So as a, talking to someone, what's the next step for, for a prospective student? Uh, the main thing is the application. And the reason why I say the application because we want the student to be able to get a, a jump start on the process of getting their information, getting everything they need to complete their ap application so that the admissions committee can do a great job of vetting that student and to make sure that the student is a great fit and to make sure we are a great fit for the student. And I first will credit my coming to Phillips uh, through student services. Uh, Ulysses stayed on top of me about finishing the, one of the goals that I had uh, educationally. And so that's what got me here to Phillips. They're there for you to ask wondering questions and being able to talk to them in person or online or they're always just an email away. The landscape for ministry is changing. Churches are changing and uh, other faith communities. So Phillips is always uh, looking ahead and dreaming and planning. I think we are uh, particularly helpful because we have a variety of degrees. We offer a Master of Divinity, a Master of Theological Studies. We offer a Master of Arts and uh, Master of Arts in Ministry and Culture, and we also offer a, a MA in Social Justice. Some of those degrees are really thinking about people who aren't going to be serving in congregations, but are going to be in nonprofit organizations. We also have in our DMEN program some opportunities for folks to think about entrepreneurial or we call it improvisational leadership that allows you to see the landscape, adapt to it, and continue to do good work and utilize your education in that process. So we're not trying to make just preachers or just ministers. We are trying to equip people across the community to, for whatever the faith communities look like in the future. I want to be a hospital chaplain and eventually do CPE classes as well. We think that the calling is enough and that God will provide, and He does, but Phillips in a very special way gives you the education that you need. It gives you the spiritual, trend, um, for spiritual formation that you need um, to really be a good um, leader, a, spirit, a good spiritual leader. For people in, entering seminary, particularly like myself, that have spent so much time in ministry, you've spent so much time in the local church, my thing to people like myself would be, hey, you still can learn something. And seminary can still be a time where you can really develop, where you can really discern the next season of ministry. And I think life is lived in seasons. I think that also speaks to our ministry, that our ministry is are lived in seasons. And so I would encourage someone that was coming to seminary for the first time as a seasoned pastor in some ways, and I laugh when I say seasoned, <laughs> but as a seasoned pastor, as a seasoned faith leader, that perhaps seminary is that time that you've been praying for and hoping for uh, to discern what's the next step uh, that you're called to serve God in the world.